Hi everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. So someone sent me this question on Twitter and I love it because it was a, a geometry construction problem that I could actually do. So if you've seen my uh, that video I made a while ago, which was a, an Olympiad question with geometry in it, um, you'll know that I'm not really that comfortable with classical geometry. I tend to fall back on analytic because it's what I know best from uh, my physics degree. Anyway, but this one I could actually do. Um, so we've got that side of the triangle is equal to that one. We've got that side equals that one. We know these two angles. And we're trying to work out this angle here. So you might want to pause the video here and have a go at that. So um, some of you might be wondering why I haven't made any videos in quite some time. I, it's, it's sort of, it's half just being lazy and it's half that I've had a bunch of other stuff to do. Like I picked up an extra programming job and I've, yeah, I've been busy with lots of things. Anyway, I'm going to try to be, be better in 2021. Okay, so on to my solution. Um, so when I first started doing this one, I sort of, um, I went, okay, that's 40 degrees and we've got an isosceles triangle there, so that has to be 70, that has to be 70. And then I was kind of playing around with angles, but basically I got stuck. And when I get stuck, usually the first thing I do is I go back and reread the question and just make sure that I've used every piece of information that was given because usually every piece is important. Um, so the, the one piece of information that I hadn't used was that that side is the same length as this one. So how do we use that fact? Um, at first I didn't know, but what I was sort of picturing in my head was kind of like picking up this triangle and rotating it until that side was on here, kind of like this. So this is what was going on in my mind's eye. Um, so I thought, well, why don't we just actually draw in that triangle uh, and, and see where that leads. Okay, so we've got this triangle now where that's the same triangle as this one. So that side is the same as these two and that side as well. Um, and we knew the angles in this triangle were 40, 70, and 70. So let's mark those in. That's 70, and if this is 70, and that's 30, then this bit has to be 40. Um, okay, and <laughs> where are we trying to get to with this? Well, one way to do it would be if we could work out that angle and that angle, then we could work out theta. Or if we could work out that angle and that angle, then we could work out theta. So maybe given this, what we want to do is try to work out this angle. So what I was thinking is, if I draw in that line as well, I mean, you can kind of just sort of intuitively see here that we've got this isosceles trapezium or trapezoid for the American English speakers. Um, so like that angle is going to be the same as that one that's the same as that, those are 70. Um, you can kind of just sort of see that instinctively. If you wanted to sort of do a proper proof, I think what I would do is I would say, okay, you've got this isosceles triangle here, because we've got the two 40s. Um, that means that has to be 100 degrees. That's 100 as well. And then because we've got that side is the same as that one, just by definition, by where I placed this point. And we've got an isosceles triangle here, so that side is the same as that one, then that length has to equal that one. So this is isosceles. Um, and then we can work out that angle from that. So you've got 80 degrees left in that triangle split between these two equal angles, so that's 40. Um, okay, so that's great. So we've worked out that bit now, so that's 110. And then um, on this other side, maybe we can use that same trick of sticking this triangle in there again, it's but like over here now. So let me just try to draw that in, not too wonkily. Where that side equals that one, and that's 40 degrees. So this is just a copy of this triangle. So what can we work out there? 
Well, what I was thinking is, um, let's draw in that. And then that's 70 degrees again, just because it's a copy of this one, where those were both 70. And that's 10, therefore this is 60 degrees there. And then you've got these two equal sides here. That one's equal to that one. Therefore, this is actually uh, an equilateral triangle. So that's the same length as these two. And we can say, since that's 60, that's 20. Uh, that one's also 60. I'm not sure if that's useful. Uh, but now looking here, we've got an isosceles triangle because we've got that's the same length as that. And we've got the 20 degrees there, which leaves um, 160 degrees to be split equally between these two angles. Therefore, this is 80 degrees. And that one's also 70, because that was, because um, that triangle was the copy of, of that one. And so now we've got, that's 150, and that one's 110. And to work out theta, we just need to subtract those from 360 which gives us 100 degrees. And that's it. Oh, and I just wanted to mention that you can expect more Olympiad videos from me in future because I'm actually reading a book about how to do Olympiad questions. Because <laughs> at the moment I'm pretty terrible at them. They're like really just a step above the competition problems that I'm used to. There's all sorts of th theorems and things that you need to know to do Olympiad questions. So I'm reading up on that. So if you've asked me about an Olympiad question in the comments of videos before, um, I am planning to do them. I just need to do a bit more study first. And um, I hope everyone has a wonderful new year.